When Russia invaded Ukraine in February 2022, Bogdan Yadov, a 66 kilogram European judo champion, was training for Paris. Five o'clock in the morning, my best friend called me and said, War started. So was Yaroslava Mahuchik. Yes! Oh! The world's number one ranked high jumper. I felt fear inside and I say goodbye to my life. With training facilities torn apart by Russian bombs. Believe it or not, there was a nice gymnasium here. And constant air raid sirens interrupting almost every practice. If start attack, we have a bomb shelter in our sport hall. Suddenly, the two athletes faced an impossible choice. Should they go abroad where it's safer or remain in Ukraine? Bogdan chose to stay. He couldn't bear to leave his wife and son. Sometimes it's really hard to fight. But I want to for my country and make our people a little bit happy. Yaroslava made the painful decision to go abroad, training across Western Europe. She worries about her parents and sister who live in Dnipro, a city that's often attacked by Russia. When I say goodbye, I didn't know when I'll see again, but my father said you should go, you should show the whole world what happened in our country. That's the world record. record! Despite the strain, she's gone from success to success, and this month broke a 37-year-old world record. My jumps, my competition for my country, for the soldiers. I fight for my country. I'm always proud to be Ukrainian. Bogdan and Yaroslava both say the war is motivating them to show the world Ukraine is still standing strong. Richard Engel, NBC News, Kyiv, Ukraine. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.